Hey, this is Jack from GroovyPost.com, and today I'm going to show you three groovy things you can do with PhotoFuse, which is a feature built into Windows Live Photo Gallery. Uh, essentially, what you can do is you can change people or objects in a picture, you can remove people or objects in a picture, or you can even add people or objects in a picture. One of the most useful features of PhotoFuse is the ability to combine pictures with the same background and use the pose that you like best. Let's try it out with these three pictures. Now, as you can see, there are three different people in this picture. There's Orange Hat Guy, who is chowing down on an ice cream cone. There's this girl sitting in the corner who is on her cell phone. And then there's me, who is ill-advisedly contemplating feeding this bird. Now you can choose the pose for each person simply by selecting them one at a time. For this guy, I think I like this middle pose here. See that he's really pondering something deep. For the girl, we have less options because she's not moving around quite as much. For me, we have three options. There's me contemplating feeding the bird, me feeding the bird, and me regretting feeding the bird. Now, only two of these options are really going to work because uh, I'm just moving around too much in this third one here. I'll show you what I mean in a second. For now, that one looks pretty good. But let's see if we try the one where I'm being attacked by the bird. As you can see, there's still a little bit of strangeness left over from the other picture. Now you can try to edit this stuff out, but depending on how many pictures you have, you're going to have mixed results. Let's say you're trying to take a picture of something, but either cars, or people, or animals keep on blocking your shot. Using PhotoFuse, you can create a picture without any moving objects blocking your view by combining several photos taken from the same vantage point. Start by selecting the pictures you want to use, and then click Create, and choose PhotoFuse. Now as you can see, there are two vehicles blocking the intersection. There's this bus, and then this blue car. To remove them, simply draw a box around them, and then choose a view where they're not in the picture. Do the same for the car. And there you go, the intersection is clear. Another thing you can do is combine several pictures of the same person in different places in the frame and make it so it looks like there are several people in the picture. Uh, of course, they will look like they're all clones of each other, but you can do it. Uh, the one thing to remember is you can only use 10 pictures per photo fuse. Now, what I think works best with these clone pictures is to select the entire picture first and choose whoever is going to go in the center before you do the other ones. And now we can just add the other people in relation to that one. And there you go. Happy Halloween. Now, there's another thing you can do, but it doesn't really work perfectly. You can kind of uh, try to add someone into the background behind another person. As you'll see here, Windows Live Photo Gallery is going to do its best to kind of blend the two images so it looks natural, but um, the results are kind of mixed. See, that's not entirely bad, but it kind of looks like I'm a ghost. Um, but Given the occasion, I guess that's okay. That's about it for now. Uh, this is Jack, and for more information on Windows Live Photo Gallery, visit groovypost.com.